that was, number one, it was not a good investment. Number two, they were using brahmacharya, our life force, our sexual energy, energy to seduce the students. To seduce the students. There was no flyer. You know why? You want to know why there was no flyer? Because then there would be paper trails back to that. So number one, that's another, that should be a real simple thing. If you, there's no flyer, if there's no flyer, you got to know that it's, there's something tricky about that. Why won't they put it in paper? You got to be real careful about these things, guys. All right? So sexuality, that sexual energy is used to create and manifest. If you want something to come, you have to really use that energy. Now, it doesn't come just one day overnight. How many of you guys saw The Secret? Not yet? Okay. <laughs> well, trust me, you want to go see The Secret. You need to understand the universal laws. This is part of what we, that what we do. And that, as well as, um, by the way, now that I bring it up, that's also an extra credit exercise. So if you guys are interested in the extra credit, right? So, and you need to watch it and you need to do a two page summary and that last two paragraphs need to be, what did you learn? Okay? So, your internal power should be used to guide you. Everybody, put your hand on your head. This is our conscious mind. This is where 5% of our day actually happens. 5%. Put your hands right here. Why I'm ma making you do this is because when we remember it. This is your subconscious mind. This is where we spend 95% of our day, but we don't even realize it. Put your hand back on your head. You set your goals. Now repeat after me. I set my goals, I set my goals. by my conscious mind. By my conscious mind. Put your hands on your on your gut. But I achieve my goals. But I achieve my goals. By my subconscious mind. By my subconscious mind. So that means if I create them here and I achieve them here, what that means is you create your goals based on your values, but if you don't feel that passion inside in that chakra number three, Move it up to chakra number four, which is why we're actually looking at chakra number four. You should be up to chakra number four. If we don't move that energy up to chakra number four and feel it with our heart, it won't happen. Because you can't, you cannot think your, your way forward. Right? Let me give you a really easy example. When you're laying in bed and you're saying there, oh, I don't want to get up. Oh, I don't want to get up. Oh, but I have to get up. Oh, but I have to get up. Oh, I... How long does it take you before you actually get up? It's half an hour. <laughs> right? Now imagine that. If you have to achieve your goals based on this, now you understand why we don't reach our goals because sometimes we're at, we're at a disconnect. What you say, what you say you want is here, but do you really feel it here so much so that you use that kundalini energy to achieve your goals? You've got to feel that passion inside to achieve those goals. If there's not a connection, you'll never achieve those goals. The Brahmacharya says use your internal force to guide you 
and making lifelong decisions. Example, a business is a lifelong decision. A relationship is a lifelong decision. If you go into a relationship and you think you're going to go in there and change that person and then everything's going to be peachy keen, trust me. 30 years later or even less, you're going to kick them out the door. Because if you think yourself into a relationship, I promise you, I'm not threatening, but I promise you that the relationship will not succeed. Will not succeed. Now let me give you a very crude way of, of knowing that. Let me, and now a crude way of stating the same thing is you can go into a relationship and say that you want to have an intellectual relationship. I like that, right? But then you go into the bedroom, and if in the bedroom it sucks, that intellectual relationship won't last. Won't last. Unless it's a friendship, right? Same thing the other way, but it's gonna last longer. It's gonna last longer. But you've got to be in balance. You've got to be in congruence. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you have to ask yourself deep down inside, put your hands right here, everybody, and ask yourself, close your eyes, and then just ask yourself, why am I making this decision? We also talk ourselves out of things. The mind will talk you out of something you really, really want. Let's say you really, really, really want a house in, um, uh, I don't know, Bonita, East Lake, right? You want, really, really want a house over there. You really, really, really do. It would be the most amazing thing, but you don't practice the Kundalini energy. Instead, instead, you listen to that critical voice inside your head and you say, and you hear that critical voice inside your head knock you over and say, you're not smart enough. You're not making enough money. You don't belong there. You're not white enough. You're not black enough. You're not green enough. Whatever it is, that intellectual mind, that conscious mind, will always knock you off your feet. Right? The other way the conscious mind then knocks you off your feet is, let's say somebody presents to you an opportunity. And then the conscious, and you like it, and, it's, and it feels fun, and you're excited, and you're going like, oh, this is so fun, this, this could be really, really fun, I could really have some fun, right? And then your critical voice inside your head, your consciousness says, oh no, this is too hard, you can't do this. You don't know enough people. No, <gasps> no, for shame, you'll be selling. Oh no, you can't do that. Whatever it is, right? And then all of a sudden you go back and you, and you now you really fall out of balance and, and the person that invited you or the person that you said yes to or whatever, now, you, now you're embarrassed to tell them. That's how bad it is. When you're embarrassed, you don't have the guts to say to somebody, you're out of congruence. You're in that space. We call that thinking space. That's not going to help you. Because if you don't have the guts to face that person and say, you know, I really appreciate it. I just don't think it's going to work for me right now. Very different. Because now we're following that kundalini energy. But I guarantee you this. That 90% of the time, that thinkingness is going to cause you some heartache. I should have done it. How many times don't we say, I should have listened to my gut? I should have done it. 
But now you think yourself out of it. 